Hey guys! So I recently picked up the new brow pencil from Fenty Beauty and I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. So it's called the Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler. It's 26 Canadian or 20 US dollars and you get 0.0024 ounces or 0 0.07 grams of product, which is pretty on par with most other brow pencils on the market. The other two brow pencils that I use are the Benefit Precisely one and the ABH Brow Wiz. And if you compare those three for like price per gram of product that you get, the Benefit one's the most expensive and then the Fenty one and then the ABH one is the cheapest of them all. So even though the Fenty one is actually the cheapest product, you're paying a little bit more per gram of product than the ABH one. So there are 14 shades total. I got the shade Dark Brown. Dark Brown and Fenty is the closest match that I could find. It's a little bit warmer and a little bit lighter, but you can't really tell though unless you're staring really close. I really like the packaging. I love a simple packaging. Just plain white. I like that it's a triangle, so if you put it on your table, it won't roll away. Got a nice strip of color so you can see which side the product is on. What makes it stand out is instead of a spoolie on the one end, you have this little brush, which is really quite adorable. It reminds me of one of those Artiste face brushes, but just a little cute one. So far, I really like the brush. I thought I wouldn't because it seems a little weird, but it's nice in separating your hairs and shaping them how you want. And it really helps to blend out the product so the lines that you put on aren't so harsh at the end. It just kind of blends it and makes it a little bit more natural. And if you mess up shaping your brow, if you draw it funny, you can just blend it away really easy with the brush. The formula is supposed to be waterproof, resistant to smudging, transferring and fading and all of that. I mean, it's waterproof if you get water on it, like it won't dissolve right away, but you can wash it away with just water and a cloth. Like it's not completely waterproof. Pretty much if you rub this even dry, it's gonna go away. I'll show you this. So there I just kind of swatched it on my hand and I didn't even rub it that hard and you can see it just kind of fades away. But I mean, if you don't do that to your eyebrows, it should be totally fine. Just. Don't uh, don't try and rub it away and it won't go away. I mean, it's transfer proof and smudge proof. Like if you rest your hand against your eyebrow, it's not gonna come off on your hand unless maybe you're really sweaty. I don't know. It's not completely budge proof, so don't bank on that. <laughs> I find this formula to be really similar to the ABH formula. It's more waxy than the Benefit one, but I think the waxy formulas kind of stay in place better throughout the day, so it's a little bit of a trade-off. And some people like the waxier formula for application because you don't draw lines too harshly too easily. Like you kind of build it up to where you want it instead of just one really dark line, you know? The Benefit formula is more creamier than these two, so product just kind of builds up quicker. So these are some swatches of the Fenty and the ABH one side by side. The Fenty's on your left hand side and the ABH is on your right, and I just uh, applied them pretty much at the same time and then just started rubbing them and you can see they rub off very similarly. Like, I wouldn't say one formula is better than the other. I think they're very, very similar. So here I'll just show you myself applying it. Um, my favorite way to use a brow pencil is kind of shape the under part of my brow, like the arch and everything, and then just fill it in where I need. Really easy to use, the product's quite nice. It doesn't get too dark too quickly. And then I went in on top with just the clear brow gel from ABH and I think it looks quite nice. Overall, I would recommend this product. It's very similar to me to the ABH one. So maybe if you've always liked the formula of the ABH but you couldn't find your color, maybe they would have it in the Fenty. You might want to try that out. They are very, very similar and the Brow Wiz is more expensive but you do get more product. So it's like, it is cheaper per gram of product. The only thing that you might want to try out is the little brush on the end instead of the spoolie. But I mean, it's not groundbreaking or anything. Um, short video today, but I don't really know what else to say. I mean, it's a good brow pencil, very similar to most other ones that I've tried. I do like this product, however, I don't think once I use, like I'll use this up, but once I'm done with it, I don't think I'll buy it again just because I like the shade in the ABH pencil better. It's more cool toned, which is what I prefer for my brows. You can't 
you can barely tell the difference. Like I'm sure if I did one eye with Fenty and one eye with ABH, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference at all, but up close you can. And I just, I just prefer the cool toned one. And it is cheaper for the amount of product that you're getting. So for now I'm gonna stick with the ABH. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.